Money is a game, and with any game, there are rules. This is video number one of a three-part series called The Three Rules of Banking. My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. For the best infinite banking and financial advice, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell so that you can be notified every time we post new videos. If you feel there are more days than money left over at the end of the month, then we promise by the end of this video, you will have a financial tip that will change your finances from zero to hero. This technique is very simple. It's called pay yourself first. The reason why there's more days than money at the end of the month is because you've decided to put yourself at the back of the line. You've decided to pay your mortgage, your car notes, your light bills, all your bills before you pay yourself, which is very important. But if it wasn't for you, how would all that those things get paid? Well, it's because of your efforts that these people are being able to benefit from your hard work. So the most important person to benefit from your hard work should be you. So you should pay yourself first and then pay everyone else what's left over. It's an interesting concept to think about because we're just so used to paying our bills and not even thinking about giving us any sort of monetary reward. Mm -hmm. Well, some people do, but for the most part, it's always go to work to pay your bills and get out of debt and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. So when we talk about paying yourself first, it's really the discipline of saying, I deserve the payment before anyone else because I'm the one who's doing all of the work. Mm -hmm. And then you have to do the math to figure out are you living inside your means to still be able to afford to pay everything else? Because mm -hmm. you could really be overspending in some particular categories, which is not allowing you to save or to pay yourself first the way you should be in the first place. Because the average American is only or has less than a thousand bucks in savings. Mm -hmm. And this is crucial, ladies and gentlemen. If this is one of you, then you really need to make sure that you prioritize yourself and start saving. Because God forbid there was ever emergency that comes along, we don't want you to have to go into debt just to be able to satisfy that emergency. Right. So it's, it's really about financial security and paying yourself first is going to allow you to have the security and the liberation that you need. Exactly. And not just financial emergencies that come up, but investment yeah. opportunities. Yeah, absolutely. Investment opportunities come by all the time and you want to be in a position to where you can actually have money set aside to take advantage of it mm -hmm. instead of well, there goes another opportunity. That would have been great. Whoop. <laughs> there goes another opportunity. That would have been great to get involved in. Yeah, yeah. It, it's really heartbreaking. And, and we're sharing this with you because we've been in this position. Everything yes. that we talk about are things that we've experienced ourselves. And we've had numerous of opportunities pass us by because we weren't financially responsible. And it sucks to be in those situations, especially mm -hmm. when they're amazing opportunities that you miss. So it's really important, as we say, pay yourself first, pay yourself first, pay yourself first. And how and the, the trick that we have for paying yourself first is um, basically automating the process. Mm -hmm. The best way to execute paying yourself first is to set up automatic drafts from your checking account to a separate account outside of your bank. So for example, if you get paid every two weeks $1,000, Set up an automatic draft for $100 or $200 to automatically go from your checking account to a separate bank account so that you don't even utilize these funds in your day-to-day -day expenses. Because this is exactly how we get into trouble. We see that the money's available, and if that money's available, we go and spend it. Yeah. So if we're able to hack it and pretend that that money doesn't even exist, then there won't be any money there for us to actually spend mm -hmm. on stuff that we don't necessarily need. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and not only with the automatic transfer from your bank to the, the savings account, you can also do this with your employer. And mm -hmm. I know that this is something that we did. So with the direct deposits, it allows you to figure out how much you want to break up and, and which bank accounts to set it in. So we just started using our employer to separate the money for us. So mm -hmm. the direct deposit came straight out and everything was already divided. So the, the money that we needed for expenses was in one account and then the money that we paid ourselves first was already direct deposited it into another account. So it was just habitual and it was something we didn't even think about. So those are two ways that you can automate the process mm -hmm. and make it super simple for you to execute on paying yourself first. 
Right, and another benefit of it is the fact that there's two separate accounts that's not together. It makes it a lot harder for you to transfer money from this account to your checking account for you to spend it. Yeah, so it you gives mean you, at separate banks. At separate banks. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it gives you an opportunity to think about this purchase in the time that it takes the day or two days for that transfer to go from your separate account to your spending account. And the reason we share this with you, especially separating your finances in different financial institutions, is just because in the interim, as you're getting used to this process, it's it's easier if you separate it and make it harder for you to transfer money from account to account. Mm -hmm. Because really we're just ex exercising discipline and then also the incorporation of a new system. Mm -hmm. Because at the end of the day, this is the foundation that you need to start infinite banking, to become a powerful investor and to have good money habits. So this is a foundation that we share with you to make sure that you're paying yourself first and that, that you're consistent in mm -hmm. doing it. Paying yourself first is one of the most simple and most important financial decisions that you can make for yourself. Comment below, pay yourself first, if you're picking up what we're putting down. Darius and I stress pay yourself first because when you're doing infinite banking, it's so important that you have good money habits mm -hmm. because we've seen too many people get into infinite banking without the foundation that they need and then they just bring in those bad habits and now they're struggling to maintain their premiums and to pay their self back because they don't have the foundation that they need to be successful. Mm -hmm. So we always, always stress pay yourself first because you need to be in that habit because you're going to be using that money that savings, that disposable income that you've created for yourself to start your banking system. Mm -hmm. And so we really don't want you to be robbing from the money that you need to eat and to pay your expenses if you aren't in the habit of saving the money because that's the money, again, that you need to start your banking system and that money will generate itself so that you can truly become your own source of financing. And infinite banking is not going to fix your financial problems that you have. You good need point. to fix those problems before getting involved with infinite banking. Very good because point. paying yourself first is only the first rule <laughs> to becoming a successful banker. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's two more to go. There's two more to go. So if you can't master this first or get into a habit of paying yourself first, then once you buy your policy and decide to borrow from it and, and do all the different things that you want to do for your financial future, it's going to be very difficult if you haven't fixed those other issues prior to. Yeah, what, what's really going to happen if we're being honest is your policy is going to be more of a burden mm -hmm. than an asset to you because if you're not in the habit of saving money and putting money away, then you're constantly going to be scrambling to try to figure out how you can afford your premium mm -hmm. and we don't want that to happen. So we're just sharing this information with you to be real and honest about the infinite banking process because we feel so many people just look at it and go, my life is going to change, it's going to make everything better but what has to happen first are those money habits you need to change those money habits change those mindsets that you've been programmed with and start anew when you become an infinite banker now that you know how to pay yourself first the benefits of doing so and how it works with infinite banking we've created an online course called the money blueprint where we discuss your money mindset how to manage your finances debt the banking system and infinite banking. And what we've done for you is we've created a link below so you can get the first module of our online course mm -hmm. absolutely free. Mm -hmm. We are thrilled to be able to share this with you because we wanna be able to help as many people as we possibly can because it's all about financial literacy and creating a solid financial foundation. And we found that with the people who are interested in infinite banking, we just wanna make sure that you have the foundation that you need to be successful. So that's why we decided to gift you with the very first module of the Money Blueprint. So make sure you click the link below so that you get access to the first module. And also, if you want to join a like-minded community of people who are all about infinite banking, then join our Patreon community because this is where we share up-to-date information on infinite banking and how to navigate this sometimes crazy space. Yes, and if you like this video, make sure you let us know by liking it, subscribing, and sharing it with a fellow friend who you think that this information would benefit. And remember, what do we do at the Wealth Nation channel? We own our own lifestyle. Or someone else will.